Okay, so this is the fifth video on how to build a pawn game in Strat. Now I'm going to show you how to do two things in this video. We're going to edit our script a little bit to make it more, to make the game more complex so it's more interesting for the user. And we're also going to add a scoring system. Okay, so to start off, what we're going to do is I'm just going to tweak a little bit of our script here. And what I would like to do is I just want to add in a little bit which is going to mean that when the ball bounces off the bat it will bounce off in a totally random direction okay so it, as I say it will add a little bit of complexity to the game so to do this we need to go up to motion up to motion we want to have turn Over this way, and drop it so it's just underneath the pointing direction. And in this one here, I'm going to put an operator and I'm going to say pick a random number between, and I am going to put between 15 and 45. Okay. I'm just going to do exactly the same here. Okay. I'm go to my operator and drop in this. And exactly the same. Make it 15 to 45. And what this should do if I just run the game now. when I run the game now it should bounce off in a random direction there you go excellent okay so what we want to do now is we're going to introduce our scoring system so I'll just put this back in big view so we can see our script again I'll just move this right up okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to create are two variables now remember a variable is a number in the game that is subject to change okay so it's a variable because obviously as player one score builds up the number will change the number will go up the higher score you will get so on and so forth so we need to add our two variables so we're going to go to our variables window we're going to make a new variable we're going to call it player one score okay we also need another variable because obviously there's two players in this game so we don't play the two score okay so we've got our two variables we can see it scratches very nicely as well put in two scoring uh, displays on our game okay so first of all what we need to do when the mouse is first clicked we need to reset the scores to zero so to do that we're going to say set. So when clicked, set player one score to zero. When clicked, set player two score to zero. Okay. We also now need to include some more if statements. So one if statement for each bat or each player. Sorry. So I'm going to go down. Where's my if statement? I'm dragging my if statement out here okay so I need to say if the ball touches pink increase player 2 score by 1 okay so we need to say if the ball touches so it's sensing touching color okay if it touches player 1's pink and there's our pink color there we need to change the player one score in fact it's not player one score when the pinks touch it needs to change player two score by one when this happens we want the ball to reset and go back to the middle of the screen so we need to set our x and y coordinates so of course remember when we go for the middle it is zero zero 
we next I'm gonna just create a little bit of a pause because obviously when a player's died you need a little bit of time just to get ready for the next one. So we're gonna put a little wait in, so we've got two seconds. So where's Ooh, where's wait two seconds? No, I've gone too far. There we go. Wait. And make him wait two seconds. Okay. And then we want to make sure that if it is player one who has died that the ball gets returned to the opposite team okay so what we need to do here is we're just going to put in a point in direction a point in direction I'm going to choose pick random number for my operators so pick a random number drop it into the 90 box just over here so we can see it and um, this is important on the on this first one so it's if the pink color is touched okay we want it to go let me just think here my coordinates between 225 degrees and 315 should be about right okay now we're going to use this script twice and i'm going to duplicate it and then use it for the other score Clip it onto the bottom. Okay, but for this one, we need to do a couple of slight changes. Obviously, the colour touching will be different, so we want to do this one for if green is touched. Now we need to increase the player one score if green's touched. Okay, and I'm just going to change my coordinates to be, let me think, 45 degrees up to 135 degrees. I'm going to drop my script now just above our move five steps, so there. So we'll just see that it's all. See it in all its marvel. So we've got when green flag is clicked, set the scores to zero, move the ball to the middle of the screen. The ball will move into a random direction chosen by this script. If the ball touches back two, point in the opposite direction and set off at a random degree. If it touches bat 1, point in the opposite direction and spin off it at random degrees. We've then got, if the pink colour is touched, you increase player 2 score by 1, the ball moves back to the middle of the screen, waits 2 seconds, then starts again. If it touches the green band, player 1 score is increased by 1, it moves back to the middle of the screen, waits 2 seconds, then points in a random direction. And this script here, remember, controls the movement of our ball. So let's try it. Let's see if this works. So we've still got our bounce in moment. We might need to adjust that a little bit because obviously that's a bit of a slow bounce. Okay, score has gone up for play. So we know one's working fine. So let's just see if player two can score. Is it going to work? Boom. We've got a problem, and we've got a problem because yes, it is. It's working fine. Look, there's the player one score going up. Now let's just recover and see if we can score on this side. Yes, there you go. Our script works. So that is the end of video five. Have a go. Make sure you check your script. Here's just the last one so you can have a quick view of mine. I'll move down very slowly. Happy tweeting. What you need to do is make sure you set all your variables and setting names and colors and settings correctly. But this should work.